Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Village. I, I, I walked all that way back because I just really wanted to do that one time and I don't think I was ever going to get another chance to do it, so there you are. Last time, we explored the Earthbound Village uh, and then moved on to the Mountain of Woe after an extremely annoying boss fight that, uh, wow, not exactly a warm welcome after coming back to Times of Antiquity. Not like we were wanted by anybody here anyway, so I guess it fits. This time, climbing the Mountain of Woe. Oh, this golden nugget, I've been looking forward to him. We're gonna ch Uh, no we are not. Our techs are now disabled. We are now on a very strict time limit. He is evasive. We gotta attack with all we can with our regular moves. Come on, hit him a little more, hit him a little more, just a little more. You guys have max speed, come on. You guys were born to do this, come on. Just hit him. Stop missing so much. Just please beat the crap out of this thing. This rubble. That's five in a row now. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. What are we doing? Counting here? Come on, kids. Let's count the misses. Nine. There. Thank you, Ayla. Got the kill. Okay, good. I was getting worried there. One. Thousand experience if you can do that. 100 TP, mid ether. Robo got a level up too. It won't start a fight with you unless you touch it first, so switch to your best physical attackers, then touch it. Beat the crap out of them, that's how you do. Fight as many of those as you can, maybe even be good about saving before you do. Okay, you guys. Okay, I thought we'd get to charm some enemies, and so we shall. Uh, charming uh, bomber birds. I think pretty much every enemy here is worth charming. It's part of why I wasn't so gung-ho about buying from that store. Enemy has nothing to give but gratitude. Oh, well. On that note, we have Twister, which is a new triple tech that we can do between Chrono, Ayla, and uh, Robo. It's another one of those things that we learned when we were going around the world. We're just catching up on techs left and right. Form a totem pole! Of death. Almost 2,000 damage. How about that? And of course the imps are okay. <laughs> Gotta say they have adorable little pajamas on. Like they look like onesie pajamas. And they're like the right color of like what you typically see in cartoons and everything. They just, they look so adorable. And I don't know, maybe they were just coming down the mountain for a glass of milk or something. Uh, <laughs> I'm going way too far with this. They, that's just what happens when I see cute things. Got a lot of experience, still a lot of TP. Doing really well. Going a little further. Just thinking of, oh, no, 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 no. I must go down. We go up over this way. Okay, more you guys. Maybe I can run from these guys. I really want to show off different techs here. Uh, okay, you can't escape. Okay, good. Good, I was worried you didn't respond because you can bet those rubble gold nuggets don't respond. Luca and Marl have each learned their level two magics now. And, uh, oh, ho, 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 oh. oh. Uh, this is gonna be overkill on one guy if Chrono's counter was able to kill it by himself. They have learned Antipode Bomb 2, the sequel to the great tech that is even better. Sounds like someone working a crank. Cranking up the damage, that is! Roughly a thousand shadow damage to all targets on the field. It's a strong attack. Not as strong as his imp, however. <laughs> he was not impressed by that showing, Marl. And Marl retaliates by getting a critical hit right between the eyes. It's the narrative of the fights that make these characters what they are. I'm gonna switch back to Ayla, and I think maybe I'll go for Frog this time instead of Robo. He is faster, and I just need to be landing hits at all on the uh, on the nugget up here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep calling them nuggets, okay? It's just. It's fun. I, I like calling them that. Of course, accuracy equipment is always welcome. I just kind of have it down to a, a not really a science. A, I just want to press A, okay? And I wasn't having trouble with it before. Two misses in a row, I think. Three misses in a row. Four. Okay, we're not breaking the record, but we are breaking you. I'll take that. Ayla got a level up, it's no tech though. Just check your tech menus, see who's close to learning new ones, and these guys will definitely get it for you. Got a platinum helm. 
What is it with all the helmets lately? <laughs> Just every single time, it's some new helmet to get excited over. That is not as good as the rainbow helm, and by extension, that would mean not as good as the mermaid helm either. If I can offer a tip about two and one enemies, beat them with a counter. Them splitting in two counts as a counter, and you can't counter a counter, so that's why they just die here. 404, imp not bound anymore, because you're dead. Yeah, if I ever kill a man, that's what I'm going to totally say to them, because I'm just that nerdy, and I won't be able to sound badass even if I was killing somebody. I, I cannot talk about stuff like that. I just, I sound so terrible. Uh, what are our techs looking like, actually? Before I fight another one of these guys... Slightly less optimal as it may be, Frog and Robo need it the most. Pow! Besides, Chrono, I know you can get a hit. You suck. Just whiffing it left and right. Okay, get one hit. Should be two to take it at. Has roughly 500 HP, I think. If Frog again is critical, that would be perfect. No. Robo? Who's gonna be the one to earn the nuggets? Come on. Frog does not quite earn his nuggets. Oh gosh, this is bad. Okay, good, 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 good. Please let, okay, good. I was getting scared there when I actually needed three hits though because of three hits on some of those other fights, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Chrono got a level up. Robo learned rapid fire fist and Frog finally, finally learned water too. He has been overdue for that for a very long time. Finally gets to join the rest of us in the level two magic club. Let's show those one at a time. I think um, Ayla can come back into the party, just in case we have anybody that we need to charm. Generally speaking, if there's ever a new area where there's enemies you haven't fought yet, be safe. Have Ayla in the party, be ready to charm them, and don't do anything else until you know exactly what the enemies drop. These guys, however, I believe, heavy hand. Well, uh, the way that I gave you that hint sure was a heavy handed way of telling you to get it, huh? For doing it like that, I'll just continue to be in your face with what I'm doing here. Oh, uh, speaking of in your face, I got a boot to it right there. Um, since they drop weapons, I don't see any reason to keep having Ayla in the party whenever we fight them. Now that we just have seen what they drop, that's all good. These guys reduce you to one HP with their kicks and a frog getting to show off his attack. They're not all enemies, but you see what it looks like. You already know what it does. It's level two magic. Heavy is mightier than magma. It's another 20 attack points for the guy. And well, what do you know? We have a new physical tech to try it out with. This blue save point is one of a kind, and it might not even be a, oh, whoa, 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 mountain of. Let me close the menu again. Yeah, it's green for half a second. It does the same thing that Ozzy the Eighth does, where it's blue, but it's not really blue, and I don't know why they colored it that way. Maybe they just thought it was more aesthetically pleasing. It blends into the green background. That's why. That's totally what's going on here. Robo? How about, uh, well, first off, how about we heal Chrono? How about we let Chrono die by negligence? That's a good plan too, I guess. Finny and water, oh, we're actually kind of low on those. Uh, you know what, no. Robo, punch him straight out of those pajamas. I want him for myself. Whoa, that's so cool looking. It's like a machine gun, but punching. There's your premise for the next hot action movie. Take you out and be extremely unoptimal, taking out the gargoyle last. That's what this thing is called. Slash you. And there that is. Beast Toss Dual Tech. So we don't need to switch up the party. We got new techs for us. Definitely going to heal between fights. And Robo, you are just the man for the job because you can heal the entire party with one use of attack. Always saying somebody's just the man for the job or just the girl for the capsule or, you know, the old sayings. <laughs> Okay, oh, four of these guys. This might not be the best chance to show this off, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Beast Toss, Dual Tech. Uh, actually, no, I don't think we've done Boogie yet. That could be a good chance for this. Boogie! Inflict Stop. It's definitely a strong draw that this party has to it because you don't really see that being inflicted too terribly often. Uh, Chrono just uh, dishing out the damage right here, and I guess uh, Beast Toss, Beast Toss. It's overkill because our regular attacks will do it anyway, but they just kind of play keep away with this guy and his friend is forced to watch as they do 3,000 damage to him. Whoa! Knew you guys were strong, but sheesh. Learn Lumin- Woohoohoo, Luminaire! Oh, Luminaire, I've been waiting to talk about you. It kind of sucks, which is why I've been waiting to talk about it because I kind of want to make an argument for it not really being that great, but 
we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Luminaire just so happens to be Chrono's final tech. The perks of being the protagonist. Considered switching out the party, but decided not to, because Luminaire is definitely going to be the main part of our next fight. Anytime any enemies want to give me some trouble, you guys kind of live to do that, so I'm a little surprised. There it is. Anytime you get close to a chest, something happens. Luminaire is the most powerful magical spell in Chrono Trigger. Some believe it to be a reference to Ultima from Final Fantasy, as it is light-based, it's kind of, well, you'll see, kind of greenish in color, and it's the strongest spell. You can kind of see why people would believe that. Okay, it's not fair to use the word suck when describing it. It still hit for over a thousand damage. My reasoning is that it's 20 MP for a single tech, and it's so expensive for what it does when there's much cheaper ways of doing a thousand damage otherwise. There are mostly dual techs, but you get what I mean. Its power is cranked up so high that it offsets Chrono having the lowest magical stat, and he's more than a viable magical attacker with it. It's just it costs so much. It looks cool though, and if I ever want to feel like a badass, I'll watch the attack go by and feel cool about myself. Got a Lapis there. And then this just screams like a fight's coming up, so maybe... Brought Marlon and Luca back in, and yup, I sure know my level design tropes. Actually, I don't know if you guys drop anything. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. So these guys I haven't mentioned yet, they are called Stone Imps. You'd think that with the naming scheme the way it is, they would be stronger than the Mud Imp, but I'll take my Nintendo logic, thank you very much. <laughs> Not interested in that. What I am interested in is Delta Force. This is level two magic from all three of them. Once you get the Antipode Bomb, you can use it. It's supposed to be a triangle, but we're standing in a weird formation, so it doesn't really get to look all that cool. Just kind of looked like we were erecting a giant red wall in front of them, and they were just in such awe at sheer immensity that they died. I do need to charge, uh, charge, uh, charm the stone imp, so that's why I brought uh, Ayla back into the party, kind of hoping to fight them standalone again, because I've been kind of slacking on that. If you would be so kind as to deliver, yeah, kinda. I guess we can just knock them off of their perches. Then again, I guess if they're below the bird, they kind of are the perches, right? Are, are you a perch if a bird is flying away with you? I don't know. Those are logistical things that I'll need to ask the bird experts to tell me about. Um, the stone imp, if they are charmed, then they're just slapping you in the face by not being impressed by your advances. Uh, maybe just, uh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to do an AOE attack and hurt them. We'll just wait on it a little bit. Okay, fine, Chrono, you can do that. That's an excellent way of dealing with the problem and make it so I don't have to think as much. You, you're, you're a man of my taste, man. You don't think, you just punch. Ayla's like that too. Luca, what are you doing? Enemy has nothing to give with gratitude. I swear they dropped something. Huh. Maybe I'm mistaken. Wait, I know what it is. They drop power meals. That's what it is. I knew that there was some enemy here that dropped power meals because I already have one in my inventory, or Ambrosia, excuse me. I can't get them from them. I hate that rule that you can only have one in your inventory at a time when it's not even that special of an item and there's not that many opportunities to get them. So the opportunities can pass you by even if you are being diligent just because you have one in your inventory. And they never tell you this. It's just kind of an arbitrary rule you have to figure out on your own or by looking at walkthroughs. So nothing there. Okay. I'm gonna switch around the party again because we're still not caught up on techs. We are just tech machines here. All right, good opportunity. Chrono, you attack them, and then we have the very cool named Red Needle. This only attacks one target, but it combines the Masamune with the flame, reforging it again, and yeah, you get the rest. Again, yet another strong, phys uh, I guess it's not a strong physical type, it's a strong fire tech that does damage equal to what Frog would do in that situation, but uh, it's still cool looking. Speaking of cool looking, Frog's critical hit animation is a goodie. Delta Storm. All right. Uh, man, they're just coming in faster than I can even show them. We're just getting new ones all the time. Brought Frog along for the hop along. We're gonna take this guy out. He actually does have 16 speed. We're getting our turns at the exact time that he seals our tech, so there's no way around it, no matter how speedy your fingers might be. Speaking of speedy fingers, I'd love it if more fights went that quickly. Mid either, level up, Fallen Chrono. At this rate, we might actually have trouble getting to Specchio in a good amount of time. I, okay, 
The Mountain of Woe is an area that I never really hear talked about all that much, but I like it. And it's not because it's like crazy challenging or really intimidating. They say it's intimidating and gonna be really crazy to get up, but the uh, amount of TP and experience that we're earning left and right, we are rolling in it. And I just feel so good about it. Finally an enemy we can see on the field. Ugh. That has been my one complaint about it is that I can never see the fights coming. So I've been just pussyfooting around being all like, you know, uh, should I switch in the party? Should I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't wanna do that just to be on the safe side though. But now I can finally see the fights coming up. Ayla. This is your time, shine. I said shine, not shite. Come on, no. Didn't, didn't kind of say it on Chrono, no. Chrono, you better enjoy this. You better savor it. It better be the most delicious thing you've ever had. They just confuse you and they heal each other. These are meant to be annoying enemies and uh, they're succeeding. So uh, good, th good on you. Don't confuse him, okay good. Confuse Chrono, confuse anyone else, just don't. Or don't confuse Chrono, even better. Charming on these, they're called Death Lilies, Smiter's Blade. Believe that that's for Frog, and that's another reason why I wasn't really too interested in making the Masamune obsolete. Then again, I just, I don't like getting rid of it. It feels, the Masamune feels so big and important and synonymous to Frog's character that I just like having it on him. I know that you can't really see the equipment difference in battle all that much. I know that you do see the them holding, the, holding different blades of it. It's not like it looks that much different. I just, it doesn't feel right having it on him because of just how much he worked at it and how representative it was of his Kirith as a character. Uh, sure, just go ahead and pulsate your chin like that. That's what I would do all day if I was a frog. I'd probably never get used to that and I would just play with it all the time. <laughs> Take you out. Stylishly so. The Smiter's Blade does increased damage to magical beings and it's 17 points stronger than the Masamune. As much as I hate to give this up, it might just be the smart move for right now. In return, frog can have more speed. I really know how to talk myself into this. Frog and Marl are up next. Nothing guarding this chest containing a lapis. Can't argue against that. But there is something guarding this chest, which is containing who knows what. It's the excitement of life. You two together are able to do Frost. Oh, no, it's a triple tech. Frost arc. A new arc impulse was uh, involved you two. Whoa! Dude, it just... It just killed him by drawing the Smash Brothers logo on him. I can't think of a more cool way to die than that. <laughs> well, okay, that look that was a that kind of gave it a run for its money, Chrono. I'll give you that. That was neat. Didn't really know we were getting a triple tech there. Glacial freeze, so I don't want to switch you guys out. Sheesh! I know that I just keep freaking out over like, oh man, we're learning so many techs, and I'm, I'm sure it's kind of getting annoying a little bit though, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm very happy that we're just learning so many new things. Next up, this chest has got a barrier sphere within it. I'm so glad we finally got to see protect on the note of techs. And then up this way, I'm just gonna go around, oh, we got, we got a customer. You know what to do. We've been through this song and dance many a time. I can see why Rubble is so evasive. He'd have lots of practice dodging Fred's punches over the years. I went there. Give me all that. Nothing new for us to learn. Kind of thankful for that. And Marl it is. But that, we totally only learned a new tech just now because Frog took so long to get his water too. This is gonna be just a really strong water attack that hits all targets is what I'm willing to bet. Glacial fr no, it's one target. Uh, wow, Frog, way to blow ass. <laughs> Not what I was expecting to see here. Chrono, you show him how it's done. Yes, with your low magic stat. Yes, without using Luminar. Woo! Just impale that plant into pieces, why don't you? Poor thing. And then that should be enough to do all of you guys in. Ah, the cell wall is mightier than the animal cell, I see. But that's okay. We have enough to deal with that as well. Glacial Freeze is water elemental damage. Remember that water and ice are not separate elements. Chrono, Luca, and Ayla are next. And for that fight that went easier than any of the others did, we get a shield sphere and that's not it. Also a shelter. Now, another save point there. These three together have another triple tech. This one is in 
burn. Oh, no, it's not a triple tech, is it? No, it's not. Well, Ayla does her tail spin to just throw fire around everywhere. Not the thing that you'd want to do when there's lots of vegetation around, but... She caveman. She expert in handling fire. And there that is. And right about now, we were just handed a shelter. Seems like a good thing to use. What, did you think it was time for a boss fight? No, of course not. We just, still got a lot more to go. Uh, and that looks like an album cover, just Luca and Robo being upset with each other, standing back to back. I could see it in monochrome and them looking all edgy and everything. Uh, I, I get way too into interpreting how sprites are standing together. We keep going up and we get a time hat. I'm imagining a hard hat with an alarm clock super glued to the front of it and goofy curly wires coming out of either side. Told you I had a fun time imagining what these things look like in real life. Not stronger than any helmet we have right now. And I don't believe that we're going to need this in the immediate future, so... Yay! Continuing the trend of helmets that we don't need! Just seems to be such a common trend that everything we see is not needed. Uh, we'll take the high ether. Down over here, we have a magic capsule. Perhaps the time has come to give a magic tab to Chrono. I've said my piece on him not being the best magic user before. With Luminaire by his side, and as well as... where is it? Uh... Luca had it. Luca, you can... You can take the silver stud. I'm gonna give the golden stud to Chrono, as that'll make Luminaire only cost 5 MP, and for the damage it does and just coming out as fast as Chrono attacks, that's not bad. My main issue with Luminaire is that it cost 20 MP and was just not worth that much on one character. So as much as I'll miss his counterattack, this is gonna be worth trying for at least a little while, I'm sure. In the way of other equipment, Chrono has the black plate, I've decided to bring Robo and Ayla back into the party. Uh, sorry, Luca, I thought you were gonna get a chance to do cool stuff, but, uh, it's you. I'm sorry, Luca. I know what it's like. That was my entire elementary and middle and high school and some of college, too. Uh, I have the red plate on Ayla. I put the red fest on Robo. Red fest? <laughs> yes, it's a like celebration of communism. No, red vest. I recommend having resistances to fire and shadow when going forward. Chrono's got the gold stud. I think we're good to go. Oh, Robo could use an ether or two. He wasn't in the party when I used my shelter before. There that is. We are good to go. So let's go. We have found where the Guru of Life is imprisoned. Chrono, look! This is the hilarious Giga Gaia. <laughs> I've always thought it has such a silly name and it makes such a funny face when it attacks that I can't help but find it a downright silly foe for us to take on. It consists of two hands and a head. We're gonna open with Luminaire. Spreading around some good damage, doing about a thousand damage to each, and they each have different attacks. The left hand is able to cut HP in half, and it can use fire. The right hand heals the head and uses water. The head on its own doesn't do anything, but it is the brain that must fall, you see. They're conveniently uh, located in a horizontal line through each other, so my trusty falcon strike sounds like a good move to start off with. Wreck those hands. Robo, give him a machine gun punch to the face. I didn't mention it before, but uh, that name, that attack name, the Rapid Fire Fist, it has the name of Uzi Punch in the original translation. I don't know if that's a Japanese thing, cause it's like U Z Z Y uh, or U Z Z I. Perhaps maybe it's because he punches you so hard that he makes your brain all Uzi. That's disturbing, and I apologize for it. We're gonna do a triple tech here, just because we got it built up already. So we'll do a twister. I didn't actually see if I got the charm right there. I was kind of too focused on what I was doing, so maybe I'll charm him once more to be safe. I'm sorry I wasn't looking at the text box at the brief moment that it was up. It just kind of happens when you play the game so much that you're on basic autopilot when you do. Uh, before attacking again, charm. As you see, the head is restoring the hands. That's the only thing that it does. Uh, enemies nothing to give but gratitude. Okay, so we did get it. Uh, cyclone sweep. Okay, now uh, supersonic spin. Uh, all right, well, I guess we'll spread damage around to all the hands. This fight is kind of an outlier, if I had to say it. 
it's not really for anything that's in the fight itself that's apparent. They've rebalanced this fight again and again across different versions where the hands have different HP. Though, that's not all that makes it unusual. The hardest version of this fight is on the Final Fantasy Chronicles disc for the PS1, where they made the hands have significantly more HP in that version. It's still not a particularly hard fight or anything. They didn't up it that much, but it's just such a weird thing to rebalance in an otherwise samey port. It's one of the very few things that was changed aside from adding the anime cutscenes and adding load times that make the game suck. Uh, we'll go down and Twister. 2000 damage is pretty damn good. Uh, a lot of the time I've noticed that triple techs aren't quite as good as the correct dual tech to use in a situation if an enemy is weak to a specific one. This one's pretty nice though. 2000 damage is among the best that we've seen. Uh, just attack it. I just want to be fast about this. He's gonna get another turn before you know it. Haley, you do the same. Time, Ayla, thank you. Commencing arm restoration. I I'd have it no other way that this guy is so silly looking and just derpy because on top of, <laughs> he's the boss of the Mountain of Woe, which uh, I haven't, st we made your jaw do a crossfade to black. <laughs> I was saying, I think the Mountain of Woe is a really funny sounding area. It sounds like some kind of idiom. Whenever you're depressed, you're like, oh man, I'm under the Mountain of Woe. <laughs> Uh, 3,000 experience, 30 TP, 3,000 G. Chrono got a level up. Ayla got a level up. Sir Melchior? Indeed, I am none other, but how did you know my name? I do not believe we've met. More pressingly, what of the queen in the Ocean Palace? Do you know what has happened? I see. The queen's mind has already eroded to that extent. It seems the more energy the Mammon Machine absorbs, the further the queen descends into madness. The immortal Lavos is overtaking her soul from within his slumber beneath the waves. Flee, the seal is broken. It'll bring down the mountain. Come, make haste. Elder, the mountain of woe! Mama, the mountain's falling! 